Hi Ellen, welcome to the James Oliver Guitar Channel and today we've got a bit of a request video. I get a lot of questions in my inbox and comments about my influences, what guitar players I like and what not. And uh, you can see what I listen to by watching my vinyl albums video. I think there's 43 vinyl album videos now of me showing stuff from the collection. But I've got a list here of uh, some of my favourite guitar players. There's a lot of them. I couldn't pick one, so I've sort of made this list and put them into sections and uh, I'm going to talk about each one a little bit and why I like them. It could be a long video, this could be a boring video, but we'll give it a try. So first of all, we got country guitar players. Here's some of the country guitar players I personally like. Red Volkart, Bill Kirchin, Albert Lee, Danny Garten, Jimmy Bryant, Ray Flack, Luther Perkins, Clarence White, Kenny Vaughan, Tony Rice, and I mean there's a lot more fantastic uh, country players, but these are a few of my personal favourites. I mean I love Tony Rice's flat picking, it's just incredible. Clarence White's B-Bender playing. Uh, I love the, sim the simplicity of uh, Luther Perkins. I think that Kenny Vaughan and the Fabulous Superlatives are one of the coolest bands in the land, you know. Ray Flack, I really admire being a I'm Welsh, but he's being an English guy, British guy, going to Nashville and playing. Jimmy Bryant, of course, the first Telecaster player on record. Danny Garten is just a, a monster guitar player. Albert Lee is another monster guitar player. I've been lucky enough to support Albert twice, which was a big uh, thing for me. Bill Kirchin is just a you know a wonderful entertainer as well as guitar player, songwriter, singer. Supported Bill too, and of course Red Volkart, who's uh, to me just one of the all-time greats, and you know he's got his own style and his complete own sound, which I think is the key to a great guitar player is sounding like themselves. So there's some of the country guys I like. Here's some of the rock and roll guitar players I like. Uh, Link Ray, wonderful instrumentals. Dick Dale, the King of Surf guitar. Grady Martin, of course, who played on all them records. There's a wonderful CD called Roughneck Blues, and it's like a compilation of uh, Grady Martin songs that he's played on. Scotty Moore, of course, on all them Elvis cats. Cliff Gallup, them wild solos on the, on the uh, Gene Vincent records, which he said he never rehearsed. Chuck Berry, who's probably my all-time favourite songwriter. Bo Diddley. Mickey G, Mickey G is a Welsh guitar player, and of course Dave Edmonds, who is uh, who's nailed our Chuck Berry stuff like no other. So there's some of the uh, rock and roll guitar players that I really admire. Of course, there's lots of others. Like there's a song called "Servant of Love" by the Van Brothers, and uh, there's the solos on that are amazing. But I don't know who they are. I don't know who the, who the guitar players are on them. You know. So these are some of the ones anyway. Um. So that's the rock and roll slash. Rockabilly stuff, you know, you've got people like Carl Perkins as well, James Burton, and Garland. And there's so many. Now we're going to get on to the blues guys. I'm a big fan of the blues as well. Uh, Junior Watson, jump blues sort of stuff. Peter Green, Jeremy Spencer, and Danny Kerwin from Fleetwood Mac are big, big influences of mine. Muddy Waters, I love his stinging slide playing. Elmer James. Love Elmore's slide playing. Hubert Sumlin, who played with Howling Wolf, of course. Hound Dog Taylor. Six fingers he had. Roy Buchanan. You're going to put him in the country or the rock and roll section too. Johnny Winter, Rory Gallagher, the Free Kings, Freddie, BB and Albert. Ray Cooder, David Lindley. Jimmy Vaughan. A guitar player called Pat Hay who played on James Cotton's Cotton Crop Blues, and he also played with Muddy Waters. He released a, he did a couple of singles, one being I'm Going to Murder My Baby, which he ended up doing. He murdered his wife, and Muddy Waters used to go and visit him in prison. So there's some of the blues guys. I like, of course, Hollywood Fats, Ronnie Earl. Love the early Johnny Guitar Watts and stuff when he was, when he was recording on Federal and King. Super duper stuff. And then I sort of got like a miscellaneous pile. Then 
of other guitar players uh, such as Deke Leonard and Mickey Jones from the Man Band. Fantastic sort of double guitar band. And uh, Mark Rebo who plays the Tom Waits, who's really wacky and off the wall. Jim Campolango. Jim is in the same vein, I say, as Mark Rebo. Any of the guitar players that played with Bifar, Zuton Rolo, Gary Lucas, Eric Clerks, who's in the Magic Band, all super guitar players playing their stuff. Richard Thompson, not only for his acoustic finger picking stuff, but for his electric guitar playing as well. Mick Green, who I talk about a lot on the channel. Wilco Johnson, again, who I talk about a lot on the channel. You know, I love all the Telecaster guys. I probably missed a few out, but I think these are my main um, influences. I'm also into a guitar player called Amos Garrett, who's on the Maria Maldar song and Midnight at the Oasis, but does fabulous versions of Sleepwalk and other stuff. There's so many, so, so many. Django Reinhardt I love listening to, the Rosenbergs. Just absolutely fantastic. Mill Travis, Chet Atkins, Jerry Reed. There's just so, so, so many wonderful guitar players to check out. And uh, comment below your favourite guitar players. And, uh, of course, if you don't know any of these people, I'm sure most of you do, check them out. Because you'll, you know, you'll love it if you're into the guitar. And thanks for watching. I hope this video uh, scratched that itch and... Uh, now you know what sort of guitar players I am into. And uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all again soon. Cheers.